My name's Mr. Hudson, and this is my pal and superstar drummer, Wilkie Wilkinson. Global Cool asked us to take a flight-free holiday to Europe. Our boys' break began at St Pancras, where we headed to Paris on the Eurostar. From there, we'd get the train to Munich for a couple of days of German fun. Isn't it mad getting a train from King's Cross to Munich? Yeah, yeah. Respect the French t shirt. Well, I'm trying. You know, I'll stop it there. So. Passing through France. Looks like someone's mugged you in it, though, Matt. So I know. Dragged you down it's the a street. little bit. It's late night, France, I yeah. went for. I was going for clubby Paris. So we're on our way to Munich. On our way to Munich, yeah. On we're, the train. Um, we're on the train. From Paris. From Paris, where we stop off to see a couple of my pals. First thing I want to do when I get to Munich is find a sausage and just inhale it. <laughs> you know Duke Ellington? Was it Duke Ellington or Count Basie? One of them. Duke Ellington. They say that all of his music it started to get that rhythm because it's on the train all the time. Mm. Yeah, but the point is, he was composing on his manuscript, like, you know, like on a, a sheet of music. Mm. He was composing to the beat of the train. For me, it kind of, all these planes to America and so on, it means the last thing I want to do if I'm going to take a break is go and get on a plane. Yeah. I remember getting a train to uh, Barcelona from a town called Savona. And you can basically stop and then go to the beach and then get back on the train again. Another train? Another they don't train, wait yeah. for you? No. <laughs> that would be the dream, wouldn't that? That would be cool. Stop! Chauffeur-driven train. Yeah. <laughs> Do a left. I think that's the queen. Build a track. Yeah. We arrived at Munich and I have to say Wilkie Wilkinson came up trumps with our hotel room. OK, baby. Oh. Shower, but it's got a seat, and there's a shower on the other side. Oh. Yeah, I've got a bit of vasa on my neck now. It's not London at all. You're in a total party zone already. The emotion. The following morning, it was an early start, so we could hit Munich hard and pack as much culture and sightseeing into the day as possible. Like a design museum, isn't it? All I know is if he gets paid to do this, he's a lucky lad. You a big jam uh, man? I like, I like ginger jam, yeah. That's called peacocking. Can we need to follow our noses to the, the sausage? Oh, I think that doesn't it's... sound too much like something that would get banned on YouTube. I think it's down here. Looks like we might have found some sausage. That's the good news. The bad news is it looks like it's raw. Yeah, you have to cook them. Little sausages. Don't, don't touch my sausage. No, I, well, I won't touch your little white sausage. Here we go. And no double dipping. So, Wilkie. Yeah? Me old mate, me old mucker. Now, you know how I was saying that I think the best way to explore a city is on bicycle? Yeah. Um, they, they only had one bike then. OK. What? But, but luckily, like, we won't have to take turns, because okay. luckily this is a bicycle made for two. Nice! Uh, but I'm, I'm driving. Oh, OK. All right. As usual. What are you doing? I was putting my foot on the floor because I thought we were going to fall over. Live a little. We're on the bike. Hudson's freewheeling. <laughs> it's dangerous. Ah! We can't go. Oh, we are going. Oh, we're going. Right, Chief, don't resist the pedals, man. All right. But... Just, it's got to be fluid. The thing is, at first you look at this and you think, this is not that impressive. It's 2010 and watching a, a bunch of statues spinning around. But think about it. Back in the like 16th century when this was built, that's basically Avatar up there. Come on, now you're up here now. This place is 400 years old. Back in the day, beer was considered food by the Germans. So are they pretending it's food downstairs still, or are they just. Uh, it's just beer and pretzels. Just beer and pretzels. After taking in the sights and soaking up the atmosphere around Munich, it was time for a romantic meal for two at the rooftop bar of the Hotel Bayerischer Hof. It's all good, isn't it? At the hour known as cocktail o'clock, we had time to reflect on the trip 
and all the fun we'd had here in Munich. I love the beer, I love the people, I love the music, the umpa. Mm. It's like Proto House. They basically invented house music about 300 years ago, didn't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe the Lederhosen is basically just rave gear back in the day. It's like, well, now, now you have girls in furry bikinis. 300 years ago it was, you know, show us your balcony. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, we can go back a different route. I reckon we go via Brussels. Yeah, That'd okay. be my vote. So, yeah, I like the fact that we've just been able to improvise a little bit. I like the journey. For me, that was cool, being able to stop by in Paris. The adventure is part of the whole right? Deep. Mr Hudson and his mate Wilkie's journey for Global Call began at St Pancras Station in London, where they caught the Eurostar to Paris. After a quick stopover, it was back en route through the European countryside to Munich. Mr Hudson and Wilkie avoided the airports and took the train in both directions, returning to London via Frankfurt and Brussels. Look out for more information on flight-free holidays and traincations at globalcool.org.